everybody, this is Dave with SpinnerX Studios and welcome to my channel and uh, welcome to a early 2023 room tour. I think uh, to kind of start out this video, I'll uh, just give you a kind of quick walk around to give you the lay of the land, so to speak, of the room. But uh, you know, in the past I've done a couple room tours and uh, they have been by far my most popular videos, a lot more views on those two room tours than uh, my other videos. So people seem to like uh, room tours. But um, this room is kind of an oddball in its location. And what I mean by that is I think most comic book rooms, uh, when you see these videos, are either probably in like a spare bedroom or study or down in a uh, basement, either finished or uh, unfinished. But as you're going to see, this room is actually in the main part of my house up on the second floor. Uh, I'm in what they call a bonus room. It's really a very, very large loft. And uh, it's very an open floor plan. Um, over that railing, if you drop down, you'd see my family room. And then back there, you come up the stairs, and uh, the three upstairs bedrooms are... Uh, down back there and then over here as you walk this way this would be um, the front of the house you drop down to the living room and the front door is down there but yeah anyway you can see that it's uh, a pretty long large room uh, the one problem uh, with the uh, open floor plan in this room though if it's a problem is that it only has two walls it uh, has this one long wall, which has a pretty good sized window, and then a uh, shorter wall, which is also taken up by a pretty good sized window. So there's uh, not a lot of wall space, but it is um, a very open floor plan. All right, before we kind of get into uh, specifics of things, uh, I will let you know there, there's really, there's four categories of items in my room and the first and not a big surprise are the spinner racks um, i have four spinner racks and uh, it's pretty much uh, where most of the comic books are you're going to see there's some uh, westerns up on a kind of a, a beam area there but uh, other than that the comic books are in the spinner racks uh, partly because i don't have a lot of wall space as i mentioned the second uh, part of the room are, are kind of what I'm going to call the uh, fine art uh, gicle uh, um, prints that I've gotten from Sideshow and other places. And then the third aspect of the room are the quarter scale statutes that I collect that you'll be seeing. And then finally, like you see in a lot of rooms, uh, just some uh, comic book odds and ends, collectibles, uh, lunch boxes, and other materials that are primarily related to comic books. All right, well, that's kind of a, a layout of the room, and uh, let's uh, take a little bit closer look at things. Okay, so here we are at the entrance of the room again, and uh, you come upstairs. Uh, there's some stairs just uh, to the left of the camera here make a uh, kind of a 180 degree turn um, and behind me would be uh, the, the upstairs bedrooms but um, here is a cutout area and um, here we have XM uh, Ghost Rider statue uh, made by um, XM Studios as I said which is out of Singapore and I did a video on this uh, not too long ago you can go back and see it and uh, we talk a little bit more about uh, the platform that my wife made. Uh, one difference though that we've done since that video is we've got some uh, framed Ghost Rider comic books that um, we've put up on the wall there that uh, really do add all, quite a bit to it. And then above it is uh, one of the uh, fine art prints that I have. Uh, this is from Sideshow. It's a uh, piece made uh, uh, regarding the X-Men, obviously, the, uh, I think the blue and the gold team. And then as you keep walking in, uh, here's a Gicle uh, 
print that I picked up many years ago. Alex Ross uh, print. And then here is a uh, sideshow uh, print uh, that uh, recreates um, the long Halloween. And then finally right above it is a uh, poison ivy print. Okay, you come up the steps and um, here is another uh, Giclée print. Uh, this is, uh, of course, a uh, splash page out of um, Captain America and uh, Steranko piece. And it's also signed uh, by Stan Lee. There's Stan's signature. And then there's Steranko's signature. You know, the interesting thing about Steranko is uh, not only obviously was he a great artist, but gosh, even his, uh, his signature is artistic. And then here is the first of four spinner racks. Um, this is a, a reproduction uh, rack. This is the kind of the well-known uh, Hey Kids rack. And uh, as I've mentioned before, I tend to keep bronze and silver age uh, books in these racks for the most part. There are some, um, some golden age books here and there and a few more modern, uh, more recent Copper Age, and even re more recent than that. But um, the nice thing about these racks, of course, is that um, they can hold a lot of comic books, and uh, they don't take up a lot of floor space. Nor, of course, are they taking up any wall space. Now, speaking of my uh, limited wall space, <laughs> I've kind of ran out of it, so I've actually got... Uh, some um, pictures here uh, just leaning up against the railing as you can see and then as we scan over um, this is an XM studio statute uh, called sanity we'll take a closer look at it here and then uh, there's a, a Psylocke uh, print and then my second of uh, four spinner racks and this one uh, holds slabs as you can see and it's also that uh, kind of that hey kids uh, style rack all right this is xm Sta uh, sanity and uh, it's a court or uh, actually it's a one six scale pardon me one six scale statute but uh, it's uh, called sanity because it's basically uh, Batman is having a nightmare and here he's got a bunch of his villains uh, kind of uprising out of some uh, smoke there as you can see at the bottom but uh, really great piece it's got uh, some you know most of his major villains um, as you can probably tell there there's penguin let me get in a little bit closer here Harley Quinn mr. freeze uh, you got Clayface there poison ivy uh, Scarecrow uh, right above Poison Ivy, Catwoman obviously, you've got um, Two-Face in the background there, and of course the Joker, and then uh, let me lift the camera up, you got the uh, the Man Bat hovering in the uh, background there. Um, one of the things that uh, collectors um, were disappointed about the statue was that uh, Riddler's missing. And so XM Studios kind of, uh, you know, heard that, and they, they, they couldn't, of course, uh, add the Riddler to it. It was too late. But what they did do is um, they put a, a nod to Riddler there. I don't know if you can tell. Just right here is a, a question mark. So it was kind of a, a cool addition that they were able to do after the statute had... Uh, you know, been designed to uh, add a nod to the Riddler. All right, so here's the uh, spinner rack that holds slabs. Um, each slot can hold um, anywhere up to three um, slabs, but uh, I generally don't put more than two. And as I mentioned, there is a um, kind of an Asian version of Psylocke. 
And then as you scan around, we start getting into some of the uh, statues I have. And um, XM Studios uh, is doing a line, they call it uh, the uh, Samurai Series. And it's kind of a, an Asian-influenced uh, series of Batman characters. And so there you've got Poison Ivy, Penguin, and then Batgirl, and then down below is uh, Harley Quinn on a, uh, a scooter. And then there's a couple sideshow uh, toys. And a couple smaller statues. And then above it is a uh, sideshow print uh, based off of uh, Jim Lee's uh, famous uh, covers. All right, and then next to that uh, case you just saw, uh, right below the window here, you've got a very low slung case. And uh, on top of it, um, got some uh, these pieces made by a village, uh, Christmas village uh, maker called uh, Department 56, but they've done some uh, DC line work. And um, what you have there is Wayne Manor and uh, the Batcave. And then you've got the uh, Daily Bugle um, building in the middle. And then you've got Wonder Woman's uh, castle. And then uh, I've got a, uh, a lamp, a Spider-Man lamp there. And next to that is my uh, third rack. And this is a rack that you've probably seen uh, quite a bit. And this rack I have all uh, raw comics, not in uh, bags or sleeves, they're readers. And uh, a lot of Archie uh, stuff for, it's uh, good for little kids if they come over, they can grab a a uh, comic book out of the rack and read it, and then some odds and ends, classic illustrated, uh, got some Avengers, uh, just some uh, odds and ends, all of it, you know, like I said, not in particularly good shape. And then moving across this long wall here, uh, we've got a, a number of um, the Gicle prints and uh, quarter scale statues. Got a TV over there, so the couch, you'll see the couch, but I like to come upstairs and sometimes I'll watch YouTube videos or regular TV. Sometimes I come up here and read. All right, so there, of course, is Spider-Man and then Hulk and Wolverine uh, in their uh, big fight from uh, Hulk 181. And you've got uh, Galactus there. And of course, uh, Doc Ock. And speaking of Doc Ock, there's a uh, a print of uh, the Sinister Six attacking Spider-Man. And there you've got another takeoff uh, on top there of uh, Jim Lee's X-Men covers, except uh, here it's instead of Magneto, it's got another fellow I'm sure you recognize there. And then there's a uh, Spider-Man print. And then underneath in the cabinet, uh, we've got some more uh, quarter scale characters. Let me uh, kind of lower the uh, stand here, get a better shot for you guys. Of course, the Green Goblin, Daredevil. There's uh, Domino and Rogue. And then here's a shot of these items uh, at the, uh, towards the end of the wall. And um, 
There's Spider-Man uh, fighting Venom. Of course, the Scarlet Witch and Storm. And then as we move, uh, we've got a bookcase here, and this is where I've just got some of my miscellaneous items. Um, I really like to add some miscellaneous items. I think it adds a lot of interest to the room, but i uh, got some lunch boxes and uh, a Batman game there, uh, Batman car. Some... Uh, Crusher hats that are comic book related, and there's a uh, Hot Toys uh, Spider-Man. And then as we move over here, you'll see some more quarter scale statues. Uh, pardon me, quarter scale statues. Um, characters I'm sure you recognize there. Um, that is Starfire uh, back behind Wonder Woman there on the wall. Of course, Mr. Freeze. Cap, Scarecrow, um, Hulk, and, and um, let me probably lower this uh, stand again and get a better photo for you. And as you can see, I just kind of mix and match my statues a lot. Of, you know, I don't really care whether a marble piece is next to a, a DC piece. And then here I have my fourth and uh, rarest and best rack, in my opinion. This is a gold key rack, probably from sometime in the 60s. Um, and once again, it primarily has uh, silver age and uh, maybe some bronze. And a little bit of uh, later golden age comics, uh, which do fit into the rack. I don't think you could get earlier uh, golden age in there. They're a little too wide. And then as I pan around, so there is the uh, sofa that you can sit on and watch the TV and look at the uh, long wall that you just saw. And um, another easy chair there. By the way, I do have that uh, one blind open, but I keep this room pretty dark. Um, Got to have some light to shoot uh, videos like this, but for the most part, when you close the blinds, it keeps it pretty dark. All right, so here is another XM piece based on that samurai line, and uh, this is called Shogun Batman, and as you can see, it is a Shogun-styled Batman on a very highly armored horse. Almost, uh, it's, it's not clear whether it's a real horse or maybe a robotic horse, but... Uh, this is a very large piece. It's quarter scale, and uh, it just is very impressive in person. I'm not sure it comes through like that on the uh, video. And then, on this bookcase here, uh, just some more odds and ends. I do have a few more lunch boxes there, as you can see, and then a, a couple of gumball machines. And then just some toys and Odds and ends uh, lower on the bookcase there. Uh, this particular machine is uh, kind of interesting. You see, I have a, an original uh, Marvel Comics card. You know, Marvel uh, has these little mini books that came in these machines. And I, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. I've got one in, in this little uh, container here that usually would be inside of there. And I've got probably about a dozen of those in there. And then, like I said, and I, I kind of need to straighten that out. I should have done that before this video here. But I've got this uh, original uh, Marvel card that would have been put on the uh, front of the glass of the machine where they uh, sold these uh, mini books. All right, I turned the camera off there and I straightened the card out a little bit. Uh, this is not the machine that the uh, Marvel uh, mini books would have been included in it, but it is an, a vintage machine. And as you can see, I've got a bunch of the, uh, the little prize canisters in there. And as I mentioned, there's probably about, uh, I don't know, about a dozen or so of the uh, Marvel mini books and then some other uh, little toy prizes that you typically would find in uh, these type of machines. Okay, this is another quarter scale uh, Batman statue by Prime One. 
and uh, it's Batman uh, busting through a window there, and he's got his uh, grappling gun, and it's a very dynamic piece, and uh, you can see there's some gargoyles uh, on the base there. And then uh, down on the, uh, the floor there is um, a Hot Toys Spider-Man piece. And then a, a final print that uh, I don't have room for on the uh, walls. Here's a straight on view of it. And then a final uh, statue. This is yet another XM piece, but of course this is a black bolt here. All right, guys. Well, that uh, is the tour of the comic book room. Uh, it is uh, mid-March as I shoot this of 2023, and so I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, take care.